tends to get a whole lot of credit and publicity because of all the great players they surrounded by. But what have you seen of him, and what makes him effective? I mean, if you look at him on paper, he's the most efficient quarterback yeah. in the country. Um, just as far as consistency and you know making good decisions, he's thrown very maybe three picks, I think, or something. You know, on a, on a lot of you know attempts to have that few. You know, he's very efficient. He manages games well. You know, he's been on this stage before. So um, maybe he doesn't get all the credit he deserves, but he's right. he definitely deserves more credit than he gets, right. I think. I think everybody kind of looks at your last game as the best group of receivers you faced. Um, where would you kind of look at It's tough when you haven't played Alabama, but where do you kind of look at them uh, coming in in comparison to some of the other players you've gone against? I mean, they're they're all their receivers are just as explosive, and you know, in our opinion, they have home run ability, big threat ability, um, and you have to respect that. And especially when you have a quarterback back there who's not going to make a mistake, and uh, you got a great skill group who, um, you know, they run the ball, they run the ball, but those receivers are just as dynamic. So it's you have to respect that as you do any opponent. I feel like going into a week. How do you how do you straddle that fine line between <clears throat> wanting to help out against those two running backs? I mean, we saw an SEC championship game that's run, 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 and then they go over the top and they don't have a safety help on Cooper and he scores a game when he touchdown. Um, you just have to do your job. You can't try to do too much. Uh, if everyone's doing their assignment and reading their key, then, you know, it, it should be pretty smooth sailing as far as, you know, just being locked in on your responsibility goes. So, um, you can avoid getting lulled into that. Yeah, you that just, trap. You know, you just every, every snaps a, a new play. It's a fresh start, so you mm -hmm. gotta, you know, lock into your key for that play and, and make sure you're doing your job for that play, and gotcha. then you know take it one step at a time. Right. What makes Cooper so such a dangerous target down there in the perimeter? Uh, well, he's he's you know obviously has great speed. He really attacks the ball. Um, if it's in the air, he, he goes after it. And uh, you know, watching on film, he, he gets in and out of his breaks really well. You know, he uh, you have to respect his speed. So you know that can change some things. So um, you know he's he's a very dynamic, very talented, uh, and very dangerous receiver. How long did it take the the giddiness of everything to get over and the grind to kick in again? Uh, as far as in just in terms of getting ready, in terms of preparation for this game. Yeah. Uh, you know it's it's a daily process. You know every as I've said before. Um, it's a it's a step by step thing. You can't look too far ahead, and you know, being having a big break, you got to focus on the next practice and the next practice, and just take it one at a time, uh, just as you would during the year. There's just more practices in between the game.